Hi there, this is Robert Simon again from uh, Volboard and we are still in a Nike shop and uh, we are about to, to show you another solution. This is uh, controlling LED, LED strips. So as you can see that uh, the digital signage content is played on the large screen and as soon as the content is changing uh, uh, on the screen, the LED strip is playing different kind of colors, different kind of animations. The uh, Reiki Red is loaded, so this animation is played. When it goes out and the Nike Blue comes in, then that on animation will be played and so on. So this is going to be the next one. Um, how is it solved? Uh, of course, uh, we're just uh, using here a, a simple, normal uh, Android media player that is connected to our sensor platform. Uh, we are using an M5 Atom controlling the LED strip and uh, we just uh, uh, use uh, uh, some kind of LED strip that is uh, uh, segmented and it can be uh, controlled LED by LED. Um, it costs something like $10 per meter, $10 per 60 LEDs. It is really a mass production uh, something. And it is unlimited in, in our application that how, how long, how many LEDs do you want to control from the content. Uh, we can, we can uh, control very long uh, strings too. What the control means? You can control the strip. Okay, okay first of all, when you create a, a setup, setup like this, you define that how many LEDs you have. Then you create segments. This is a segment, that is a segment, that is and that is. And segment by segment, you add default corol, navigation speed, navigation type, etc. So all the parameters. Then from the content, you can easily define that segment want needs to be changed to red and the animation type needs to be changed to blinking or something like that. Uh, you can also speed up, decrease the speed, etc., from the content. But we can also trigger an event and, and, and uh, change the, the uh, LED strip setup based on a database and a database message. So if the number of the Nike shoes goes above something, then only this Nike shoe is blinking because that, that's uh, on sale. If, uh, if another uh, sensor is uh, generating an event, a sensor generates an event, uh, the content editor uh, receives the, the message, and then it sends back to the LED strip to change the color or whatever. So, for example, if I uh, pick up the shoe here and the Bluetooth low energy sensor sends a notification to the screen, then the screen can send out a notification to this uh, uh, shoe that uh, start to blink over there. What is good in this solution again, and let's take a look at my screen. Uh, if I, I just have a couple of slides like one, two, three, uh, the all, which, which is a general one, red, blue, and, and black. And if I come to the uh, change, page change events, you can see that page by page, and if I just jump to the blue one, page by page, I just send out a, a message to the sensor to change the color to something and uh, for the other lines or segments um, uh, they have to change to black because the zero zero uh, means that one. So it is very easy to, uh, uh, to use it and right now we just have this uh, scripting interface but we are already planning to, to make it the part of the content editor as much as you will be able to just say that change the uh, the LED strip color to this one, so it will be, you, you don't need to code at all as, as in general in, in Volboard. So that's what I wanted to show you in a couple of seconds. Um, in the next uh, days we are going to create, you know, another example where there are going to be more strips, uh, but basically it will, uh, it will uh, be able to do the same. So. Um, we can control as long string as you need and the, the um, 
the uh, best thing in it is that you can control it from the content. So as your content is changing, all the let strips are changing in the real world. So thank you very much for your time again. And if you had any questions, just uh, let us know and we are happy to help you. Thank you. Bye.